The very important reason the take-up rate has been low has got to do with people's fears about the loss of their privacy. In recent years, the unfortunate local data breaches incidents do not really boost people's confidence about surveillance technologies. I think that's not so much because of a worries about privacy or security. It's just it's very difficult to get people to download apps. They're not paying attention to what the government is is telling them to do. And so it would take a huge public relations effort or forcing them to do it to get to the kind of level that these contact tracing apps need. The technical difficulties that some people have encountered, it was not very compatible with iPhones. Your elderly user who has a very basic phone, not a smartphone, isn't going to download the app anyway because they cannot be persuaded. What the Singapore government is trying to do is to have a more diverse strategy. So it does have the contact tracing app. It also has the safe entry app. And then for some other groups in the population who might not want to use the contact tracing app, then you have this token. Clearly stipulating what data we collected how long data will be stored, as well as various kinds of measures that are put in place to minimize security features. So increasing transparency in communication about the benefits and also the protection of people's privacy will be one important way. I think what will happen is if you want to go into a mall, if you want to go into a shop, if you want to go into a swimming pool, you're going to have to use one of these apps. If you want to travel, you're going to have to use one of these apps. So if, if in a sense, you're a really hardcore privacy advocate and you're very worried about this, then in the end, your option is simply not to use them and then you will have less access to the things that are conditional on the apps. We need to be aware that the worst is not over. We have to be mentally prepared and aware that things can go south pretty quickly. Our part is really to, you know, help with the contact tracing. And how do we help with contact tracing? By downloading such apps or carrying a token. Singapore was a, a pioneer in this, but now it looks a little bit like an, uh, an outlier because it has a centralized model of app where the data is stored on government servers and most other countries in the world have begun to move to this platform developed by Apple and Google which is much more decentralized. The Singaporean government has said it isn't going to reconsider, it's going to stick with Trace Together, but that's certainly one option that it has um, if it decides its current approach isn't working.